we uh, just this year did our third annual um, a fundraiser uh, that we started um, called The Amazingly Queer Race for Economic Justice. And if you've seen the show, uh, The Amazing Race, um, it functions fairly similarly. And we've done it for two years. Um, with no uh, online support uh, at all. People, um, teams sort of registers, teams of two, they raise, uh, I'll talk about this, I'm doing a later session about sort of low cost um, fundraising and Web 2.0 stuff, but you know, teams of two fundraise $500 and then they can enter the race um, and folks show up and do, um, you know, do the race, they get checkpoints, and they have to do challenges at the different checkpoints around the city. In the first two years, we raised about $12,000 a piece, um, just doing it with no tech infrastructure whatsoever, no advertising or whatever. And I knew that in order for us to sort of do better fundraising, not only for this, but in general, we had to have some kind of, um, you know, um, online, um, uh, sort of uh, uh, customer, what's the CRM? CRM. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the CRM sort of software in order to do it. And I knew about democracy in action. So, um, you know, I sort of pushed for us to get democracy in action in the organization um, and to use it um, not only to do the amazing race, but, you know, to sort of be able to build our list and do a range of other um, kind of online organizing activities. Um, so the long story short is that um, a large part due to just being able to give people um, a technology where the teams could build their own websites and then send that to people to fundraise to so people could give money online. We went from raising about $12,000 the first two years to twenty five dollars this year. Um, uh, you know, and a lot of it due to just, just strictly that. So um, I, I think w with that, you know, it just for the other staff in the organization, the board, I think folks just saw a, a value in it. Um, and um, sort of where we're moving next is just to really be able to use DIA to do sort of a range of things better and do more kind of evaluation. You know, to move that I would just add that it gave a lot of people a chance to be involved with your organization who might absolutely. not have had that door open for them in the past because they didn't see themselves as a constituent. Right, absolutely. Yeah, so it gave people a way, yeah, ex absolutely, Charles. And then the other thing is that it also just as a, as a fundraiser, and again, it's maybe more for the later session I'm doing, um, gives people an opportunity to talk about your organization just as a, as a fundraising strategy. So people have to then engage. So if they're going to ask you for $20 to donate, they have, you have to then be able to tell people about QEJ, right, and what we do and that sort of thing. So it also has those sort of, you know, tentacles in order to just promote your organization as well.